Uh, All right, welcome in. 2024 Turkey County Annual Media Day uh, Baseball. We got the Turkey County Warrior Boys uh, just coming off the win, win the uh, county tournament over here. Uh, so, guys, tell us your names and class and where you play at. Uh, I'm Cooper Rogers, class of 24, and I'm a center fielder. Jeff Crane, class of 24, shortstop. Jace Turner, class of 24, catcher. Jackson Alden, class of 24, catcher. Well, so uh, getting the win here tonight, finish off a late night. Um, I guess it feels good to win, win the county tournament. How important is it to, to represent your county and win the county tournament? What does it mean to you guys? Uh, it's a, it really means a lot to us, especially because uh, our senior class, this is the first one we've had. We haven't won it in our career. So uh, just being able to go home with it as seniors, it just means a lot. Time. You know, it was one of our three uh, goals for the season. We had to win county, make playoffs, and be a pro 500. Yeah. So being able to mark one of those three off early in the season, plus, you know, we wanted to finish losing to Spring Garden earlier in the year. We knew we could have played way better. So we wanted to come out and do what we did. What's some things that you've done? So far, as you've been through your season, what's some things you'd like to, that you can see yourself improving on? Uh, I'd say uh, one of the biggest things is walks, uh, cutting out walks, um, scoring more runs, leaving runners on base especially. We've left a lot of runners on base this year. Um, cutting that out and uh, improving on that would be huge for us. Um, you know, big thing is playing a complete game. You look at our uh, our losses, boils down to really just one bad inning uh, against Coast Bluff and you know Spring Garden. They had that one inning where they scored three. And um, who else? Sardis. Uh, yeah, Sardis. We had a we were keeping it close, and then they they had a five run inning. It's so crucial to uh, you know eliminate those high run innings because when you're close, when you're in a close game like that, and they know put a lot on you real quick it, it's a real momentum killer and baseball is a game of momentum uh, whoever's hot whoever's playing the best at that moment's probably going to win the game so if we can just keep that momentum riding tonight was very big you know we're we're coming off of uh, that Sardis loss feeling a little bummed about that but you know we set our minds right got focused on county was able to get the job done and we're going to keep this momentum going into area play. How do you um, how do you think how do you keep that momentum to you know to get you on through to next week and you start to get into area play and then you'll get out and have spring break time and what do you think you need to do to try to keep that going? Uh, not become complacent like no matter who we're playing it's, it's us we can't look at somebody as they're not good or they're better than us we, it's us every time it's us against us we go out and play a good game, we can play with anybody. If we go out and have a terrible game, it don't matter who we're playing. So. Yeah, faceless opponents, right? Yes, sir. No matter who you play, you're supposed to play your best, no matter who you play. Um, as far as being seniors and stuff, who's some, who's some players that you've played with that you kind of look up to or people that you admire and how they play or something? Uh, Dale, he, yeah. He had a lot of energy. He brought a lot of energy to the game. And, uh, I mean, it's it's big. Like energy changes momentum and keeps things going, keeps you from getting down. Dale was always energetic. Mm -hmm. I'd say Dale and Malachi Horton. Yeah. Both of those two. I mean, I come from a different school than everyone here, so I got a different answer. But when I was a freshman, you know, I came from a seven A school in Georgia. And, you, they drives everyone out because the more people you have in the dugout, the louder it is, the better you have a chance of you know, winning the game vocally. So uh, we have a senior catcher. I think he went to Tulane or something like that. Some One of the green D1 schools, I forget. Maybe Marshall. Um, and he kind of like took me in. He kind of taught me some of the stuff that he wished he'd learned earlier and taught me the mental side. What was his name? I forgot. I'm sorry. I thought you said it. I didn't hear. Ago. But he kind of took me in as like a little 
project. Yeah. Yeah, that's for, good. For me, it's uh, I'd have to say Connor Wilson, just with his work ethic, it was every day in the cage, swing after swing, getting better, um, you know, trying to find that college opportunity. And you, you look at how he works and the outcome that he had, his, uh, the product that he produced, um, it's really, he's a good person to look up to. And it wasn't just how he was a hard worker, he was also on and off the field. He was a good guy. Mm -hmm. um, he was very nice, very fun to hang out with. He was one of my closer friends. So he was just someone I've always you know, kind of looked up to. C-Dub, I always got to represent for C-Dub. Uh, so I guess, what are some things that y'all want to leave behind? You know, if you could have a plaque, you know, what kind of, Hating, would you want it to have, you know, a uh, leader or, you know, respect or um, what would you like to leave behind for something? One for thing I've learned throughout my whole life in baseball is every single baseball game, no matter how short it is, it takes too long for you to be in a bad attitude. You know, after striking out, being in a bad attitude, you know, it's just going to ruin you. So if I had to leave one thing with everyone below me, probably say smile and have fun you know it's only gonna last two three maybe even four more years unless you get the chance to go somewhere so why not attitude yeah away. what about Jaber? I'd say the same thing uh, but just drop it uh, drop all of the, the negativity that the game can, can put on you and keep moving forward yeah, because you can only change things that's going to happen. You can't change what has happened. And when you let the things that has happened affect the things that could happen, then that's when you get in those bad spots. Flush it. That's the whole thing we used to say. We had a bucket in the corner of the dugout. You say you just go over there and you flush it. You get rid of it. Move on. What about you, Coop? Uh, to be honest, uh, probably similar. Time flies. I still remember when uh, – I was playing with Walker and Brian and all them, and it don't feel like it was too long ago. And now we're in the middle of our last year ever, some of us. And I don't know. I feel like taking time for granted. I, I don't know. Enjoy, just, enjoy the little stuff. Yes, sir. Yeah. Baseball's a game of failure. Um, if you hit the ball, get on base three out of ten times, you're one of the best players on the team. So you can't look at your mistakes and say, well, I'm going to wallow in them and I'm just going to sulk in them. Because, you know, the more – baseball is a big-time mental game. Yeah. The more you get down on yourself and the less confidence you have, especially stepping into the box, the likelier it is that you're you know, not going to get a hit. You've got to – you know, like our coaches say, you've got to step into the box with the mindset that, you know, I'm going to get a hit. I'm going to get on base any way possible, and I'm going to give it to the next guy. And if you mess up, so what? Who cares? My team's got my back. You know, sometimes, um, me personally, I may not do my job. I may not, you know, execute the way I need to do. But my team has my back. And all that matters, the thing that matters the most, is that as a team, we come out on top. Yeah, and you pass along that good attitude to your teammates. That's what you was talking about, attitude and forgetting things and – uh, you know, you can get caught up in moments, and it's okay to try to remember and take snapshots in your head to remember, you know, those times you have when you're when you're young and, and playing ball. And uh, so, there's the best times you ever have. You don't you don't know it now, but in five years, you go back on YouTube and watch this video, you'd be like, man, you remember us doing that guy way, and we just won county, and we were so pumped. And uh, yeah, just enjoy it. That's that just be my advice. Just enjoy every game. Just do it in time. You know, it's time with each other. Um, area wise, do y'all start area play this coming week? I know some teams are two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two okay. Weeks. Okay. Who who all is in y'all's area? North Jackson, Etowah, and DAR. That's a good area. Yeah, it's a tough area. Brandon, Boy, Champs, and yeah, Etowah's gone to state the past two years. They yeah. won it last year. North Jackson, they're usually a deep playoff contender. So. For us to uh, for us to at least have the opportunity to play in playoffs, you know, we've got to keep this fire, this momentum going, um, and keep clicking. I feel like tonight we tonight especially we 
clicked as a team really well. And you know, if we can start playing as one instead of nine individuals, man, we can get anyone. Yeah, I know this dugout, and I've been around these guys for a couple of years now, being in the dugout and being around when even when Coach Smith was there, and uh, when that energy's high in the dugout, it's always successful, you know. And uh, y'all brought that tonight, so congratulations on winning the county. Uh, it's a big deal, you know. So uh, we represent your county well, and now you need to go on and continue to represent your county and go win it, you know. Play hard in your area, and uh, I'll be around. We'll see you guys play some more. So uh, thanks for your time, and we'll we'll see you in a couple of days. Okay. okay.